this week's video, I'm going to try to answer a question that I get down in the comments and I even get emails about this one. Do I believe in Bigfoot? Let's talk about it. And sure, I've had some weird experiences that I can't explain. I've had rocks thrown at me, hearing tree knocks and loud whooping noises late at night. I think we're coming up to the campsite. This spot is absolutely gorgeous. And the reason why we're talking about this today, this is the woods where I had the rocks thrown at me. see a bunch of fish that have come up by shore here. Must be nice and warm. See how thick the ice is. I should probably be careful out here. Oh yeah, let's go back on shore. This week, I'm bringing you up to Cass County, Minnesota. We're really close to the town of Reamer. This area is known for being the Bigfoot capital of Minnesota. It was yesterday that my brother-in-law made me aware of this newspaper article that he found. There was another Bigfoot sighting. It happened during this rifle season, so just a week or so ago. A mother and her son were out hunting, and they saw what appeared to be an 8- or 10-foot tall creature by the ditch run into the woods. They couldn't get their cell phones out quick enough to get a picture. But they did go walk up to the area to take a look. What they found was small little dirt piles and an absolutely horrible, horrible smell. They did report it to the game warden, and the game warden said, yeah, that's the area where we get these sightings. So I thought I would bring you up here, share with you guys my experience that I had in this woods where something was throwing rocks at me. One of the first things that I'm gonna do though is pick this place up. Like I said, hunting season just got over with, and the last group of people that were here left just a little bit of a mess. Nothing we can't take care of. What do we got here? Looks like a starter in there. Oh, some stuff for the scrap pile. An electrical box. Ah, people are filthy. What do you think? Is it any good? Nope. Broken. So. We'll just leave that sit here. Oh, I can't believe some people. Check this out. It's a bottle of vodka and it's still got some in there. If that's what it is, it looks like that's what it is. One way to find out. Yeah, that's what it is. You didn't think I was gonna take a drink, did you? <laughs> that's gross. that out. All in all, not a bad hole. I didn't think there was that much garbage out here. Well, now let's take a look out here. Makes a difference not seeing that chair and the white styrofoam cooler sitting in the background. The last two weeks I've brought you out to campground, so it's nice to get back into the state forest and find this free dispersed camping. Well, this week is a little bit different because I've got two nights, Friday and Saturday. Normally, I get off work Friday, 
make the videos on Saturday. So I'm gonna take advantage of this. I think we're just gonna sit around and watch the sunset. I'm not even gonna start a fire tonight. So beautiful. So far this winter, we've been spoiled with the weather. Today, winter decided to show up. But I'm not complaining. Could be so much worse. Two and a half years ago, I was out here making a video and I was just closing the video out when I had two rocks thrown at me. At least I think it was two rocks. I could hear them rolling in the grass in front of me. I was too far away from trees for it to be an acorn drop. What was it? I don't know. Could it have been a bird dropping something from the sky? I suppose. Could it have been a Bigfoot? I guess that depends on if you believe in it or not. So this is where I was at when I had the rocks thrown at me. There was taller grass here back then. You can see that in between this tree line here. I don't see any oak trees. And I heard the stones come from where you're at, thrown my direction. I don't know. When it happened, I really didn't make a big deal out of it. I mean, I watched them shows on TV. It ran through my mind for a split second, but that's about it. I was more concerned with having to go home and get all my editing done. Sounds like someone's throwing rocks at me. You guys ever watch those Bigfoot videos? We're gonna look for some of the telltale signs of Bigfoot activity. We'll get into later on what it is that I believe. Right there. See this loop in the tree right here? Some people might say that it'd be Bigfoot doing something like that. Could also be explained by snow load too. I have seen on some of the TV shows where snow load can't explain the tree bends. The wind doesn't explain the tree bends. This is kind of an interesting deal here. We've got one tree going that way. We've got a loop over our head this way. There's this tree right here. Where the root ball is right there in the top of the trees over here. If it would have been a straight line wind, you would think all of those trees would go the exact same way. We've got another loop right here. And some crossed branches right there. This is kind of a cool spot. So I've seen researchers say tree bends and tree breaks, well, they're all signs of Sasquatch marking their territory. And I'll admit, there are some of the things you just can't explain. Snow load, I get it. Heavy winds, absolutely. People trying to make a hoax, very possible. Some things 
you just can't explain. And that's why this legend just continues. I've seen people doing tree knocks and making loud whoops, trying to get a response out in the woods. And I'm not gonna be doing any of that. I don't wanna open up a door that I don't know how to close. But what I am gonna do is leave a gift out here. We'll come back tomorrow and see if anything changes. I think X marks the spot. I'm gonna leave a nice juice. Let's try this again. Just walking up to this tree, brand new battery, <laughs> goes dead. I've got an apple and I'm gonna leave it high enough in this tree that a deer wouldn't be able to reach it. Sure, there's other things I could get to it, but we'll see. Perfect. Let's keep walking. Little tip for you, if you ever are gonna be retracing your steps the next day like we're gonna to tomorrow, make sure that you turn around. See what that looks like. Because when you're walking out of the woods, it doesn't look anything like when you're walking back in the next day. I think I'm gonna put this branch on the trail this will let me know when I need to enter into the woods. So I'm gonna head back up to the camper and we have to make a decision. Do we stay on the lake? Possibly have to deal with some winds all night? Um, do we move back into the woods? I could go back to the place that I went to two and a half years ago. It's a decent spot. There was a fire ring there. Maybe we'll check that out. I really do want to stay on the lake. I don't want to move, but I'm going to have to build a barricade around the fire just to contain the heat. Let me show you what I'm thinking. should work. All it ever takes is just one of those blocks. This will be going in just a couple minutes. So we'll let this build a nice bed of coals. We'll get cooking supper. Tonight for supper, we're gonna be smoking a meatloaf over the campfire. Not just any meatloaf, I'm talking a bacon wrapped, cheese stuffed meatloaf that's gonna take a couple hours to smoke. Let me show you how we're gonna put it together. First thing we're gonna do, add two cups breadcrumbs into a bowl. We're gonna mix that with two eggs. Quarter cup of milk. And one and a half tablespoons of your favorite dry rub. And let's mix that up real good. And we mix it until it's a paste. The idea here is that the breadcrumbs are going to soak up the milk and the eggs and keep the meatloaf really moist. So let it sit five minutes. It's nice. I can keep an eye on the fire from right here. Now we're going to make a bacon weave. I've never done this before. So 
it's actually working out. If I can do this, anybody can. We'll be dicing up half an onion. So now we go our two pounds of beef, a diced onion, and our mixture. Then we're also going to put in one and a half tablespoon of minced garlic. Now it's time to get in there and do work. I looked at a few different meatloaf recipes and one thing that they all said is don't over mix this because it can get rubbery if you do. So I think that's good. Now we're gonna cut about half a pound of cheese. So probably right there. We'll dice it up into cubes. So you just gotta remember that we're wrapping the bacon around there. So don't make it too big. How big? I don't know. It's my first time making it. Filler with cheese. Get the rest of the burger on there. Just trying to make sure that I get the sides closed off. I don't want any of that cheese squirting out. And now for the bacon. You know what I should have thought of? Butcher's twine. Uh, we talked about that last week. Can't believe I forgot it again. Awesome. We have our one and a half tablespoons of rub left over and we're just gonna sprinkle that over the top. Now we're gonna let this rest for about 30 minutes in the refrigerator, maybe even outside, and then we'll put it on the smoker. Gonna be using the tripod and the scope again tonight. Thing worked out pretty slick last week. We'll see how it handles in this wind. Looks like using the tables as a windbreak is going to work out really good. The recipe I was looking at said 275 for two and a half hours. Let's give it a shot. Just gonna give it a little twist and make sure that there's no hot spots on it right now. I'm using a mesquite wood for smoke and then in about 30 minutes we're gonna come out here baste it with a little bit of barbecue sauce and then every 30 minutes after that we're gonna try and get the internal temperature up to 155, 160. It is dark out here tonight. She's dripping a little bacon grease in there. Let's see how it's looking. Oh. Holy buckets, that smoke, it's killing my eyes. Go in for a look, check that out. That is beautiful. And here's the deal, I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. I started doing this kind of stuff for the channel. Um, at home, I grill and smoke food in a pellet smoker. That is it. The pellet smoker is the easiest thing in the world. You put pellets in it, set the temperature, put a timer on, you're done. This campfire cooking is a whole new world to me. Man, I am enjoying it. chilly out there. 
You'd be surprised at how much those candles help meet thermometer. Awesome. Thanks, Tim. 155 is the temperature we're looking for. Let's go right in through the middle there. One fifty one. All right, we want to see it at one fifty five, so I'm gonna let it go maybe ten, fifteen more minutes. This has got to be one of the best looking things I've ever smoked. I gotta say, I even surprised myself on this one. That looks so good. Beautiful. Let's check it out. Looks really, really good. How's it gonna taste? Awesome, I imagine. thinking that this might be one of my favorite meals in the camper yet. I'm gonna finish supper and then we'll go outside, check out the fire. I gotta show you this new flashlight. Picked it up at Harbor Freight yesterday. This thing's a flamethrower. Putting up these tables was a great idea. That wind is whipping. It's not super cold out right now. I think it's, Probably 20 degrees out. That wind makes it feel a lot colder than it is though. That's for sure. Oh, it's nice and warm back here. Oh, this is awesome. It was really cool reading some of the emails that I've been getting. People's unexplained encounters that they've had out in the woods. I've had more than just here. Probably a year and a half ago, I was up by North Home, an area of woods called the Lost 40. I was camping up there, getting ready to call it a night. And as I was walking up to the camper, I heard this whoop, whoop. And it was such a low pitch, not a loud whooping noise, but so low that it sent vibrations through my whole body. That was a strange experience. There's a noise across the road that I have never heard before. So give you a good look at where I'm at. There is no homes for miles around here. The sound that I heard was this whooping sound. It was a whoop, whoop, but it was uh, like a real guttural noise and almost had reverb to it. Strange. I've only had a few odd experiences out in the woods. I'm out here often. I grew up here, I've been hunting since I was 12 years old, sitting in a tree stand. I would like to be able to say that I have some kind of definite proof, but I've got nothing. seriously dark out here. We're going to go for a walk anyways. Well, let's check out this light. So there's our first setting. There's our second setting. There's our third setting. That is impressive. Let's walk over to where I had those rocks thrown at me and see if anything happens. Not going to lie. A little creeped out right now. Here we are. One thing's for sure, you can't let your mind wander when you're out here. You'll start playing tricks in your head. 
I can see the light of the camper. I'm looking forward to getting in there. Uh, the shadows coming off these trees make it look like something's moving. Like I said, you can't let it get to your head. Oh, there's a beautiful sight right there. Everything inside is picked up. Everything outside is picked up. I'm ready to call it a night. See you in the morning. brought the slide in last night wind has been coming through every nook and cranny in the camper and sitting out here on this point right by the lake it's been chilly the furnace has been running a lot so i did have to start the generator for a few hours yesterday it gave me a chance to recharge the power station 2000 watt hours isn't enough to run the furnace my coffee pot and computer for three days straight but for now I'm gonna have to keep that generator. If I had like 8,000 watt hours compared to 2,000 watt hours, then it would be a little bit more realistic, but not there yet. This morning we're gonna get out, go for a little walk, see that apple still there, but it has been so windy out. So I checked the weather channel Say it's uh, about 23 degrees, about a 20 mile an hour wind out. Oh, that's cold. We saw on Friday that the ice was about three quarters of an inch thick. It's been below freezing for the last two days. Let's see how close we are to ice fishing season. So far, so good. I can see bubbles probably two inches down. Let's go out a little bit and try chopping a hole. No cracks even. Okay, that was a crack. Let's uh, put a hole down right here. Well, let's check it out. We got water at about there. So a little over two inches. Sunnies are probably biting right now too. That's enough ice to do a little fishing on. I've had a few ice fishing videos, but you'll have to let me know if that's something you would want to see. This is such a beautiful view. It's not as inviting as it looks though. I'll be curious to see if that apple's gone. And with the fresh snow, we'll be able to see the tracks. We'll know exactly what it is that moved it. Just an odd observation. And I'm only saying this because I just want to be as truthful with you guys as possible. But I feel like there is someone watching me right now. I did not have this feeling last night in the dark but I keep feeling like there's someone behind me. Oh, there's my stick. Let's go in. A 
on the way out yesterday, I noticed that there's a row of trees with this yellow paint. So at least I know I'm going in the right direction. Found it right there. Yep. For a second, I was like, no way. I'm gonna leave it up as a little gift. If not for Bigfoot, maybe for another little creature that's gonna be hungry this winter. You can hear the wind just whipping through the trees. We'll get back to that camper. Nice and warm. I love that truck camper. Truly is like a four star hotel on wheels. Bringing me out to some amazing locations. I had to turn the camera on quick. We're just about out of the woods. And as I'm walking through, I'm hearing whistles. And I'm thinking it's just the trees. Wind is really blowing. And then I hear a really loud, I don't even know how to explain it. I just see yell, high pitched and um, Again, your mind just plays tricks on you and you think, okay, is it the wind going through the trees? Because the wind is really whipping out here. I don't know if you can see the little snow tornadoes or not. What happened again? Maybe it's something to do with the lake. Look at this big ice heave that just happened. I don't think that was there earlier. Can you see the line? Ice heaves, they'll make a lot of weird noises, that's for sure. Can you hear the wind? It's insane. I came in here hoping that I was gonna catch up on some editing. I'm sitting here concerned that I might have a tree fall in the camper yet. We better get going home. I just realized that I never answered the question of, do I believe in Bigfoot? I guess my answer to that would be, I'm a hopeful skeptic. It'd be awesome one day if they finally come up with some definitive proof that Sasquatch or Bigfoot exists. Until then, I just love the legend, so we'll leave it with that. But I gotta get home. You've been hanging out with me all weekend. It's long enough. We'll do this again next Tuesday. Until then, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.